Happy July 4th! I'm AJ Wood and I want you to watch episode number 10 of I Create Content. Thanks for joining me. It's July 4th, Independence Day here in the good old US of A. If you caught our show last Friday, I showed you how to straighten some images using Photoshop. Today, in honor of Independence Day, I'm going to do a little fireworks compositing. It's a round trip between Lightroom and Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, I'm going to start by grabbing some images that I took inside of Lightroom, and I will right click on these and choose to open these as layers inside of Photoshop. Now I am going to get a quick message. It wants me to update to the latest version of my software. I'll go ahead and open for the purpose of this demo. As it's opening, what it's doing is it's combining those five images that I shot and it's compositing them together as a single layer. You can see as the screen's flashing in front of you, it does take a little bit to do this. Depends on the speed of your machine, size of the photos, and etc. Now let me go ahead and size this a little smaller so that you can see it. And I'm going to zoom in just so everything appears a little bit better. You can see I have multiple layers, so I'll just turn these off and just build these up. These are all independent photographs aligned to separate layers. First thing I want to do is just pick the photos that I want to use and arrange them. So I'm going to grab these two and I do want to position these at the bottom of my layers panel. And I'll just turn these off. This is going to be my base layer and I'm going to turn on the layer in front of it. And you can see I can show and hide. What I'm going to simply do here today, have a quick trick for you. I'm just going to take these images and with the exception of a few rectangle marquee cutouts, I'm going to change the blend mode of every single layer to screen. You're going to see that the black in the images drops out and I can compose and arrange these fireworks. Let's take a look. I just grab this layer here. Again, there's the layer underneath. Go ahead and I'll change the blend mode to screen. And now you can see the underlying layer. I'll take a second to just align these up. I think that looks a little better. So this is off, this is on. Now I've got the composite of those two layers. Let me move to the next layer, turn it on. Hey, in this case, I'll use my rectangle marquee. I'm going to select these fireworks because I do not want the water underneath. I'm going to go to the select menu and choose inverse because I'm going to hit the backspace key, the delete key on the keyboard, and I'm going to delete the background. Now if you take a look with the move tool, you can see Here's the third layer. I'm moving the fireworks. If you look closely at the layers panel, you'll see they're also moving. Now what I'm going to do is simply change its blend mode to screen. Because we're doing this a lot, the keyboard shortcut is Option Shift S on a Mac or Alt S on a PC. Go ahead and do that. Black drops out. Now I can go ahead and move these fireworks into place. I think that looks pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this finished. So here's another firework. Option Shift S, there's the blend mode, use my rectangle marquee, I'm going to crop out what I don't want in that image, hey, okay, that works pretty good. Go to the next one, same thing, do a little cutout here, rectangle marquee, hey, okay, Command Shift I or Control Shift I on a PC, hit the backspace key, and now we can see there's that image. Once again, Option Shift S, Alt Shift S to change the blend mode. That looks pretty good. Last and final layer up at the top. Just going to move that into place. I think it should go right about here. Option Shift S, Alt Shift S. There's the blend mode to screen. Going to go ahead and just move that. I think that's it. Rectangle marquee to cut out the bottom half of the photo. And here we go. So this is a single firework. Ooh, and it looks like I made a mistake <laughs> undo real quick. I chopped off too much. Let's go ahead and command option shift Z back up. I just cut off a little bit too much. I saw that. Can't have that in a photo. That would just be awful. Hey, there we go. That's a little bit better. And here you can see, here's our before and here's our after. Now all I need to do is close this. So watch as I close it, it'll ask me to write it out to Lightroom. Go ahead and do that. It'll take a second. It's writing out the format. And as we go back over into Lightroom, 
you can see here's our final image. So if I wanted to, I can take this into the develop module, I can do some final tweaks to it. If I want to, I can bump up my exposure, make it a little brighter, vibrance. Let's go ahead and add some blacks, darken that up a little bit. All right, and there is our final fireworks image. So I'm AJ Wood. As always, appreciate you being here, tuning in to see what I have to say. If you want to help support the show, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share it on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other places. So I will see you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Y'all have a good afternoon.